Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today we have a special unboxing, something that came in from, well, I have one of the channel members know somebody and uh, they had some knives that they make at a company and they said, hey, you know, maybe you'd like to check these out. And I thought, you know what, on a good word of mouth and, and uh, knowing the person, I thought, yeah, that would be really cool. So they sent me something and this is coming in from 704 Gear. So let's take a look. All right, today we're opening it up with my Kaiser Dogfish um, knife that Kaiser sent to uh, the channel for us to give away. Cool little budget knife. So we're going to take a look at this uh, knife here from, I think, a knife or something from 704 Gear. So let's take a look here. All right. All right, so, oh, looks like we got a couple of knives here. Oh, and we got a little receipt there. All right, a little talking about what this is. All right, so let's see what we have here. All right, so they're both from 704 gear. I like the boxing. All right, so it's the Fang 3.22, a D2 Tonto. And they've got an Urban Ranger Light 2.91 inch uh, D2 drop point. All right, so we're talking about D2. So we're looking in the realm of budget realms, which is cool because that's, I love to find a good budget knife, something you can give away, something you can use and abuse, right? And that's always the nice thing about that. You know, you have the nicest knives that you carry for fancy places, but sometimes you need a good budget knife just to, kind of beat up on all right so let's go ahead and take a look at it we'll see we'll start off with this one right here this looks like this is the urban ranger um it's in green all right so these are made in china um which i would expect right for that price and or at least that so let's look at the the box here all right so nice case very typical of what you get uh, on a lot of things all right so we have our, ooh, we got some stickers in here that's kind of cool 704 stickers all right lifetime warranty very cool a very nice microfiber cloth. All right, and then we got a nice little packaging here. It is nice and soft on the inside, so that's really cool. Um, all right, we're gonna put this off to the side over here. I'll put that over here, making sure it's out of camera. Yeah, nice little cloth. It's nice, uh, nice cloth, and I, I like the stickers, so very, very cool. All right, so here we are. This is the 704, a nice big pivot. It looks like a captive pivot. It looks like we got a G10. Yeah, G10 material for sure. Nice uh, deep pocket carry clip. That looks like a steel clip, which I would expect, right? Yeah, steel clip, steel liners, everything you would expect right there. All right, so we are looking at a T8 pivot, capped on one side, T6 is over here. It is a reversible mount, so right now it's tip, uh, right hand tip up only. All right, and so then we have, it is a liner lock, which is cool. Nice jimping up here, looks very functional. Let's go, let's give it a flip. All right, very good. Let's see here, how far is the detent? There we go. All right, so. All right, so there's a little detent right there. So we're a little double clutch right there. All right, so it's very light, I will say that. Yeah, very, very light. You can very much fail it. So, I mean, it is it is a budget knife, so there we go. All right, so there's a couple things there that, uh, how is a lock up? Nice and locked up. Okay, we are. And we're at probably a good 50, 60% right there. All right, so easy access to the lock bar. It's rounded, chamfered all the way around. Let's see, so where's the clutch? Clutch is about right there. So you've got to, you got to get down here. So you're not going to, you're going to, you're probably going to have a little double detent issue with this, which is unfortunate, right? Um, so you have to deal with that. If you've got big meaty fingers, you're going to be more prone to it. I got big meaty fingers. If you've got small, thin little fingers, it's probably easier to clear that, uh, that detent so you don't get the double clutch issue. But boy, that detent is super light. That's super, super, super light. I mean, you can hear it here. It will lock it in. It's not bad. I mean, we are talking budget here, right? So, you know, I take every... Oh, it is a little loose, so let's try to tighten that up. I'm going to assume it's a T8 uh, on the first one. So this is T8. Let's see if this is... Yeah. Okay. So it's best to be a push button on this one. All right, so maybe a little too tight on that one. There we go. That's much better. All right, so T8 on the pivot. It is a captive pivot, so that's nice. All right, nice D2. It's got a nice wedge, kind of a drop point, sort of a, 
uh, uh, kind of a nice little jimping on top. Uh, let's see here. Oh, poked myself. All right, so the jimping. Yeah, it's okay. The jimping's okay. It's not super functional. You could do a trigger choke up here, so you could do that. Um, it, I have large hands, right, with big meaty fingers, so extra large hands with regular size fingers, double extra large hands with smaller fingers. You're going to be right here in about three and a half fingers. So if I do the choke up here, it'll definitely work. So this is definitely a smaller blade for smaller hands, right? So I think the intended is this is for someone who likes smaller blades, smaller knife. It's a little bit too small for me. It's not something I would carry, but I, if you'd like a smaller knife, this is definitely kind of cool. Definitely get a kind of a feel for that. So nice standoffs in the back, steel liners. You've got the liner lock here. Um, definitely more engaged there. It does feel just a little bit crisper now that I tighten that up. Yeah, it does feel like I've got a little better detent there. So I felt like it maybe it was a little loose and it wasn't lining up directly with the detent ball. So that, that's definitely a thing. So I'll put a little Loctite in there afterwards. Um, all right, G10. I like the texturing. That's always great for a good grip. What you have now, it's a long clip. It is, there are uh, recessed screws, which is nice, and it's not countersunk, so you don't have anything sticking out. So that, to me, that's a benefit, you know, plus a negative. Depends on your perspective. I like the clip. There's just a very little lip up, which is, to me, is perfectly fine. I'm, I'm very cool with that. It's a little it's a little skinny here, but this is a smaller knife, so I get it. I get it, right? And being steel clip, you know, you're going to get up, you're going to get it over, and you can easily reverse that. So there you go. Now, I would like this to be just a little bit smaller. I'm not a super fan of really big clips. But I get it. I mean, sometimes a big clip is easier when you want to reverse flick something, right? So it is a, it is looks like it's a flipper only, right? So you can definitely flip it like that. But it has enough of the blade out where it's flat, and because of the the black PVD coating, it's very easy to do middle finger reverse flick. So we definitely have bonus bonus flick here. Now, you've got big old meaty fingers like me. It's gonna you got to get past that double clutch, right? So that's the thing. I bet a little bigger version of this would be no problem, but. It is a smaller version. So again, uh, I don't know what the price of these are. I will, ha I will ha I'll have a link in the down in the description once this video drops, and then we'll get an idea what they are. So I'm going to assume that D2, G10, steel liner, steel clip, um, liner lock, we're probably looking. I mean, I'm going to guess this has got to be somewhere in around the $50 or under range, maybe $40, $39, somewhere around there. That's what I'm going to guess. I could be wrong, but that's, that's my guess on this price here so i could be wrong um definitely feels like caged bearings yeah definitely caged bearings i like the swedge on top which is going to be a nice cutter it's it's not super thick and aggressive so it's definitely be a slicer at the edge it's not bad at all pretty evenly sharpened on both sides so that's always a positive like i said once you get past that double clutch it it's much easier for sure yeah for sure i just got to get my big old meaty fingers past that so that for me is my big challenge right there as it is a challenge for anybody else with big fingers or big big hands right so this is definitely on the smaller side so people who are looking for a smaller knife you'll like this i will say because of the clip so long and because of where i'm having to grip it it, it does have some hot spots on the clip and because this does stick out quite a bit and it's way in here um if i could if this had a full finger twirl and i was gripping here it'd be a lot better certainly would be a lot better but you got to be careful because this is not a full really you got this is more like a trigger Kind of finger choil you got to kind of trigger up here i mean for pinch gripping it might work if you're trying to hold it like this that could probably work but you just got to be careful you're you're really close here's the sharp control you're close to the edge so yeah take that with a grain of salt right so not bad for a budget knife i've never handled these before i don't know anything about them i believe it's probably i'm gonna guess uh, i was talking to the gentleman who owns the company and i believe they're uh, pretty much proprietary it's going to be like they use someone that they don't share and disclose which is fine you know, a lot of people do that. I don't quite care he does that, and they do a fantastic job. So, you know, sometimes you protect relationships and how you get things done, so that's totally cool. Uh, I do I do like it, though. Uh, it's definitely crisper now that I tighten up, so that's really cool, for sure, for sure. I will tell you, it's not a super strong detent, and there are some things you can do. We could take this apart. We could bend this lock bar in just a little bit, and once we do that, then it would be a stronger engagement on the bar right here and then when it goes into the detent hole which it does click in there and there's no detent lash no pivot lash so i mean i could probably put skips in there that may make a difference but not i usually don't do that on budget knives right so um but there you go not bad not bad this is definitely on the i would say on the side of what this reminds me of is like remit's budget uh realm when i had that d2 this feels along the same vein there a little bit 
Uh, does feel like a different manufacturer though, because Remit had a certain feel to their stuff. I, I would be surprised if it was Remit, but I, I don't think it is. Um, but very cool, very cool little knife. Very cool little knife indeed, for sure. All right, so that's the, uh, this first one that we looked at is the, oh, where is it? Where do we go, where do we go? Here we are. This is the Urban Ranger, okay? Urban Ranger, and this is in G uh, green, G10, or what I would call hunter green, or, you know, whatever you want to call it, dark green. Uh, definitely, definitely a little bit on the smaller side for sure. All right, so let's get a nice close up so you guys can see it. So here's the blade. It is a smaller knife. And I know some of you guys really like smaller knives, so this would probably be a good option to consider. The 704 there. Now, if you know their strategy and, and their whole, his whole, he's got a whole channel. And it's lots of followers, several couple million followers, almost 3 million. Uh, but he has a whole uh, outdoors kind of a survival, I think, EDC sort of thing. Definitely a cool channel to go check out. But I love the fact that he has knives, regular knives that you can use and so this to me is really cool i'm glad to have checked out and that is a big d2 i will say that that's a big 704 but if you look at his site and you look at the 704 this is very much in line with his logo and his style right so um no issues there um if you're buying a 704 you're probably a fan already right so and if you haven't heard of it and you go check it out and you become a fan then you'll 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 understand right i think that's totally legitimate all right so let's look at the liner lock in there and uh, you can see that the engagement, pretty solid in there. Uh, it does have a little cutout weight relief there on the steel bar to kind of measure that. Then you have the standoff here, two standoffs in the back. The, the, the pocket clip is recessed screws right there. You can see that. And it is reversible for left and right hand tip carry. It is a little bit longer, just so you know. But it does bow up here, which is nice. So it should go in and out of pocket pretty pretty easily. All right, so and here's the double clutch that I was telling you about. If you got just clear that, if you got big meaty fingers, it should be pretty easy to get past. All right, so let's zoom back out and let's take a look at this knife right here for our nice little screenshot. What do y'all think? Very cool. This is uh, the Urban Ranger in the green. Hunter green, I don't know what you want to call it, um, but definitely a nice shade of green. This will be a giveaway. So we'll make sure that these are giveaway knives. You guys get a chance to get one of these. Uh, I think it'll be kind of a cool thing to try out. And then I'd love to hear other people's perspective, those who win it, right? Because uh, this is my first time experiencing these. Uh, we'll definitely keep a hold of this. We'll do some uh, review and kind of see how it goes. Keep it here at the desk. I'll be trying it and kind of test it out. Um, you know, again, since these are specifically for giveaways, I'm not going to do some crazy hard use test, but I will tell you already just kind of carrying this right here. I feel like, I feel like I mean, it's a little small, and that's one of the reasons why I probably won't. But um, I have a feeling this would be like a nice, kind of a good budget knife, something I would probably keep in the car, a backpack or something. Something I'd keep out in the garage to work on and, and toolbox that I use regularly. I think this would be kind of cool. Um, D2 steel is going to be ingot steel, so there you go. That's not a bad steel. So it's definitely better than than some of the other budget steels. I mean, we're talking extreme budget steel, like 440 or 6 or, or something like that. I think D2 is definitely a step up. So I appreciate that. Or 8 M MRV, uh, whatever the other steel is, which... To me, this is uh, definitely a better better steel in that regard. So very cool. All right. Hey, thanks for uh, thanks for checking this out. And if you have any questions about this, something you'd like to for me to look at during the review process, something you want me to check out, I would love to hear from you guys. Um, if you've heard of this 704 and you have one of these knives, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, I'm, I'm always willing to check something out. Give everyone a fair shake, right, uh, to see if that's something that's... if you're Because some of us aren't going to have the money to go buy any kind of crazy knife, right? And some of us, if you buy a knife for a friend or family member, you're not going to want to go spend $100, maybe even $50. And sometimes it's nice if you can get that down to a range where you can afford a decent knife, but you know it's also going to be a pretty reliable knife. It's got a lifetime guarantee, which to me, that's 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 a first step right there. That's really cool for the company to do that. That's first thing, thumbs up. Um, the second thing that I think is, you know, it's got a pretty basic good budget D D2 steel. It's not some weird hidden stainless, you know, stainless steel where you get some of these knives that are probably going to cost like three or four dollars. And you, I don't recommend that. This feels definitely better than that. This feels more in line of a good solid budget uh, budget knife, which to me, that's that's the first step. That's the first thing I wanted to make sure. Now, I'm I, there's no... There's no hiding this. This is not a premium knife. We're not talking like, I mean, it, it's, here's a, here's a Kaiser, which this is their budget, but you know, we're, we are dealing with two different things, right? This is Kaiser, this is Nitro V, dog fin. This has a little more design. This is a button lock, has a multiple deployments on there. 
this one is definitely going to be more expensive than that. There's no question, right? So we are talking about different levels of budget knives, but it's still, I think, still worth checking out. Um, especially if you like the design and the look and you like the 704 company, I think you would really enjoy that. It's not bad. Um, I will tell you that. So yeah, more, more to come in the review. Like I said, I'd love to hear from you guys. So let me know. Hey, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, or informative, would you please consider hitting that like button down below? And if you've already hit that like button, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel, allows the channel to grow, produce more content, do more things, ultimately do more things for you guys. Like this, get and check these knives out and then be part of the giveaway. So thank you. Thank you to all you guys out there who watch the videos, who enjoy the content, who are part of this. I sure appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And if you haven't already, maybe hit that notification button down below so you can be notified of future content like this video. Uh, and also a big thank you to all the channel members out there. I, I sure appreciate you guys. You allow me to do things more quickly, sooner than I ever thought I'd be able to do. Thanks to you. Well, thanks to everybody. But, you know, you channel members, you kind of just you give me that little push. You get, get me going. Sometimes when I not don't feel like I can't go, you guys help out. So I appreciate that. Uh, and as a small way for me to say thank you, it's not for me to bribe you, but you know, if it interests you and you want to be a channel member, I'd love to have you. There's a, a link down below in the description for three different tiers. But if you'd like, uh, for as a small thank you to the channel member, I do two things. One, a once a month members giveaway. It's usually an, an exclusive knife, something very nice, definitely above a budget knife. We're talking something a little more premium, hundred to two hundred dollars, sometimes more. Uh, make sure it's something really cool, nice little giveaway for the for the members. You've been so generous with the memberships. I want to be generous back to you. So just know that. Um, definitely above our regular weekly giveaway, which a lot of times can be something like this, a knife like this, or, you know, something like this from Kaiser. Those are all possible giveaways. All right. So the second thing I do is all brand new channel members. And if you've been a channel member for a while and you never asked and you're currently a member, or you're a channel member before and became a channel member again and are currently a member, email me with your name and address. I'd love to mail you a sticker, a channel member sticker for me to say, thank you. Thank you for following. Thank you for supporting the channel. I appreciate you. I really do. So thank you. I really mean that. And if you haven't already, also check me out over on Instagram at Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on over at Instagram at Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and a great week.